Good evening, folks. Welcome back to Crown Liquor's video webcast. This is episode number eight. We've got a wonderful guest with us uh, this morning. We have Sarah Klein from Cobrand Imports. So we're going to review a couple of wines today from the McKelly Chiarlo portfolio. So thank you so much for your time as always, and uh, we're going to get right into the interview. So Sarah, thank you so much this morning for joining us. Thank you for having me. Excellent. So let me ask you a couple quick questions, and then we're going to review these wines uh, as well. So let me ask you a quick question. How did you decide to get into the wine industry from the beginning? Well, I was, uh, very, I'm very fortunate to have a father who is a wine collector, and growing up in Sacramento, uh, weekend trips to Napa were very much a regular thing. So I was learned a lot from him and then having worked in Italy as well and working with a lot of winemakers as patrons of the restaurant where I work definitely helped to build my knowledge. Cool, fantastic. Let me ask you another quick question here. So how did you decide to choose Cobrand as an employer and what are some of the benefits to working with their Italian portfolio? Well, Cobrand is one of the last family owned import houses in the U.S., which I very much admire being family focused. Okay. Um, it's basically their three main principles, which attracted me to the company being the quality of the people, the quality of the product and the quality of the relationship. Cool. We're going to get into the first wine here. Uh, we've got the Michele Chiarlo Barbera d'Asia, and this is the Le Orme. Le Orme. Okay, Le Orme. See, this is perfect. She speaks uh, fluent Italian, and of course, I'm a Hoosier, so I do not. <laughs> so we're going to offer this and see what we've got going on today. Yes, and Michele likes to give some sort of a name to reflect the identity of his wines. Le Orme means footprints, referring to the footprints that you leave in the land as you go through and cultivate and harvest your fruit. So we are going to review uh, this Barbera d'Asia. This is $12.99 on our shelf, and so we're going to let Sarah talk a little bit about what separates um, Michele Chiarlo's vision for this wine specifically against all the rest of the other Barbera Dossies that are out on the market today. So we'll go ahead and look at the color and then talk about what we see, what we smell, and what we taste. Well, here we have just a nice, I would say, berry colored, sure. not too concentrated. Uh, Barbera could almost be viewed as somewhat like the Pinot Noir of Italy, of the north, of Piemonte. Um, it's naturally a very acidic and tart varietal. Uh, Michele's innovation was he was the first person to apply malolactic fermentation. So this process, this fermentation process, allowed to make it much more approachable for the American palate. And he True. definitely was one of the first people to start exporting this grape and bringing the awareness of this varietal into the United States 50 plus years ago. So let's go ahead and see what we smell. It's a fair amount of red berry fruit. I yeah, mean, dark berries, blackberries, yeah, sure. even like dried fruits, dried currant. Sure, I could see that as well. Let's see what we taste. What's nice is, you know, it's not a super weighty red. I was going to say, I'm thinking medium, medium full. I mean, it's not too terribly light. You know, there certainly is some body in the mid palate. It certainly is not hollow. Correct. And, you know, it's actually relatively, you know, mouth coating, but it doesn't finish incredibly bone dry. It's Correct. got a, an enormous amount of really lush, ripe fruit. A little sweeter tannin. I think on the so back. too. And I think it's really soft and well integrated. So, a wonderfully approachable wine, I think, for a large baseline of palates. Would you agree? Definitely. And even just for food pairing, I say it's one of the most versatile wines that we represent. Cool. Um, you know, you can work with this with fish, but it's also very good for having stewed meats, you know, something that's very heavy because you've got this great acidity and this sure. great fruit that definitely just cuts through that heaviness of the dish. And I was going to say, acidity for all of those people that are out there, wonderful component for food pairings. Correct. You certainly would love the it. Main. That's what the old world's all about. You know, what are we going to have for dinner tonight with the wine that we've selected or vice versa? So I would say salmon as a wonderful fish offering for sure. Salmon, definitely. So. But even something like a oso buco. Sure, absolutely, totally. Does everybody know what that is out there? I don't know. I'm going to let her explain it. Joe's shaking his head in the background. He's like, what the hell is that? Uh, oso buco <laughs> is a veal shank. Absolutely. That is stewed with um, tomatoes, carrots, celery. It's beautiful. It's one of the, I'd say, the quintessential dishes of Italian cuisine. So the next one that we're going to do is the Moscato d'Asti. So this is $12.99 a bottle as well. Keep in mind this is a 3.75 as opposed to a full size 750. So it's usually uh, 
something that I would keep two bottles around because one is normally never enough because <laughs> it's so incredibly approachable. So this is one of my favorite wines from this producer. And the wine name of this is Nibole, which in Italian means clouds. So it's light as a cloud. Light as a cloud because it lifts you right off your feet. Excellent. So we'll talk a little bit about this. This is absolutely brilliant. Keep in mind, uh, Moscato, does, excuse me, Moscato Dastis are frizzante style, Correct. so half sparkling. So not fully carbonated like a traditional champagne, but certainly have enough you know, zippy carbonation to keep it really fresh on the palate. Effervescence. Very much so. So, I mean, it's, it's starlight bright. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. So, so let's see what's on the nose. Mm. Honeysuckle, white peaches. White peaches, um, apricots. Yeah, apricot. I could see that. Nectarines, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's on the palate. I get a lot of honey. Very much so. Very much so. But what's interesting, even though you get honey, and I know people think about honey being very viscous, viscous and, and weighty on the palate, but because it's frizzante style and it's it's somewhat you know full of carbonation, it really cleans the palate up on the finish. Definitely. So um, let's talk a little bit about food pairings. What do you what do you think in here? I'm thinking fresh fruit. Well, fresh fruit for um, sure. Definitely, it's nice because it is low alcohol. It is sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. The fact that you could have it before a meal. Um, a great dessert is to marinate peaches and strawberries in the nivole, and you put it into a, a glass like this, and you put some zabaione in there and crumpled up biscotti, and pour a little bit more of the nivole and just scoop that out, and it is divine. Why should people investigate Cobrand's Italian portfolio, and maybe even more specifically, Michele Chiarlos? Well, for the Cobrand Italian portfolio, we have some of the longest relationships um, some dating back to over 40 years, for example, here with the Chiarlo family, which I think this day and age, the emphasis of family and relationship has gotten a little lost. And I think that our company has done a very good job of maintaining just tradition, but also combining ingenuity and innovation. Sure. But we also have representation from the South. So I think just our diversity of the country is what really, that diversifies us as an Italian portfolio. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Certainly my pleasure. Folks, thank you once again. Keep in mind that you're only going to be hip if you watch the video blogs. 15% off those everyday prices. You certainly want to make sure you follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Those are the mediums in which we're really going to be able to gain feedback from you folks out there. So also find us on crownlickers.net. And until we see each other again, please raise a glass for me because I can certainly assure you I will do the same for you. Cheers and best regards. Chin chin. <laughs> Thank you.